A lot of the things that we get are donated by people who would classify it as junk. Now, what is junk to a lot of people out in the manufacturing and industry world is not necessarily junk to us. Here's a good example. Here's a control cabinet that we got donated about six months ago, and the cabinet's junk. I mean, it's, it's missing parts, it's, it's totally useless for its intended purpose. But to us, if you look inside it and, and view this through the eyes of a you know, broke college student, this has solid state relays, it's got uh, power filters, it's got a transformer up here, it's got a big transformer down there, it's got an outlet and closure, it's got cabling and large plugs, I mean, it's, it's full of all kinds of stuff. And to give you an idea, this is the stuff we pulled out of there, which includes things like this. That's a big breaker. That breaker would probably cost 100 bucks if you had to buy it at the store. Now, we don't have a use for that breaker at the moment, but we'll put it on a shelf, and you can bet that somebody, a year from now, will come along and have a use for that, and then we've got the parts. This is how a lot of things here work at the Geek Group. So, keep this in mind when throwing stuff away. Right now, when building the studios, we're using a lot of other people's junk that is perfectly functional, and we're using it to, well, edit this video that you're watching right now. Have fun, guys.